What is good, guys? Welcome back on the Uncle Sharma channel here today to preview Napoli versus Inter tomorrow, Sunday, 5 p.m. UK time kickoff. And it's a weird, it's a weird build up. You know, previous years, Napoli versus Inter, one of the big games of the season. It's one of those uh, matches and the build up starts to get to you. It's, it's, uh, it's been a tricky, it's a tricky away game against Napoli. But now, because obviously, shout out to Napoli. They are the current champions already of Serie A, so they're already in the, in the holiday mode, and we are still obviously fighting for top four. But our mind is is elsewhere, somewhere, somewhere in Turkey. I don't know why, but it's, it's somewhere out there in Turkey. Um, so yeah, it's it's a bit of a weird build up. It's a weird build up, but still important. As I said, we have to secure top four. It's not secured yet. Yes, we are there. Yes, things are looking good at the table at the moment. I just watched Milan beat Sampdoria very, very easily, which means, you know, it is going to go down to the last uh, game day to me. But if Inter tomorrow can get a win away, it's pretty much secure. 69 points. Um, that, is, that is pretty much securing the top four status for next season, especially with the potential stuff that I keep mentioning since the beginning of the season, the potential stuff happening to Juve not just the plus Valencia case, but the salary case, all the other stuff going on with them. Um, so things are looking good, but I would still like to secure a win tomorrow. And I think we need to win. We need to win because, as I said, Napoli, you guys know how it is. When we went into one of the a couple of years ago with Conte, like, you know, you start to rotate. Like, if there's no point to Napoli either as well. And with Napoli, funnily enough, there's also some unrest going on. Um, you know, that club's never, like, into. they're never too far away from unrest, even though they've just won the Scudetto. So there were reports saying that Spalletti and uh, Aureli, Aureli de Laurentiis, their CEO, their president, were having disagreements. Shock. No, who has disagreements with the ADL? Um, according to the reports about a new contract, because Spalletti has an automatic renewal but apparently, you know, DDL tried to renew it without his consent and blah, blah, blah. Um, so, yeah, it's a weird scenario going on at Napoli. And they've rotated a lot recently, Napoli. They, last few games, they've, um, yeah, as I said, they're already in holiday mode. They lost to Monza last week. Um, so that shows you in terms of, I mean, Monza have been a good team this year. But yeah, they lost 2 0 to Monza. They beat uh, Fiorentina. Uh, to secure the the Scudetto the game before, but they drew to Udinese before they drew to Salernitana. Like they haven't been, you know, in great form. Like look at that, they're not, they've they've only scored. Yeah, look, you, you can see they haven't scored more than a goal in so many games now. Six, seven games they haven't scored more than a goal. Even here, you have to go back all the way to April to see them score two goals. So, yeah, and. Um, Let's go into the predicted lineups. Uh, we'll cover Napoli first. Um, you know, usually we look at Inter first, but you can see, I mean, right now the Sky Sport Italia has pretty much predicted the strongest lineup. They they, they rotated heavily for the Monza game. Um, there was no Zielinski, there was no uh, Kavara. Kavara is also still a doubt, to be honest. Um, the, there's reports that he's uh, he's unwell. So he might not be starting, but Ossiman is trying to secure that top scorer, Serie A top scorer, which actually Lautaro is also... Um, let's see actually how the Capo Canoniera list is looking at the moment. Um, 23 goals, yeah. I mean, I think another goal and it will probably be secured. Doubt Lautaro can catch up that quickly. But, you know, you never know. You know, Lautaro could uh, could catch up and then <laughs> massive gap to everyone else between Lautaro and Ossiman. Which shows, you know, Lautaro's underrated season because Osimens, you know, dominates the league this year. But Lautaro's season has gone under the radar. Uh, really, really good season. 121 minutes per goal. Uh, not bad. Not bad. But going back to the uh, predicted lineups, yeah, strong lineup for Napoli. But again, I just they're not going to be that hungry. I don't see them pressing too hard. You know, what is really... But I guess at the same time, you know, these guys are... There's no pressure on them, so they can play their game without any pressure now. Um, but yeah, I, I think we should beat them. I think we should beat them. Although, if we, let's go into the inter line. When you look at the inter lineup, this doesn't shout, you know, securing a win against Napoli. I think this there will be rotation. I mean, I think this guy's will predict the lineup. 
they usually they're accurate but we're still a day before the game and you there has been a lot of rotation recently so i don't think i don't think aslani is going to start let's start with that we know brozovic is fit we know mkhitaryan is unfit so galliadini would probably start because we know that inzaghi doesn't see aslani as a left center mid or a right center mid he only sees him in the cdm position but if brozovic is fit i don't really see inzaghi rotating brozovic because he didn't even start the the derby midweek so I don't see that as an Inzaghi rotation. That's t- I think Brozovic will start. And we know <laughs> Acerbi never rests, so I don't know if the Rai will actually start. But I think it does make sense. Like We have to rest Acerbi at some point. And I do s- see D'Ambrosio starting, but I don't see. I'm not convinced Belanova will be starting as well. I mean, I would like to see him start. And I think you know he's, he's shown that he deserves more playing time, but I don't see it. And then Gorsens, Gorsens, I see starting. You know, DiMarco has played a lot of minutes recently. He hasn't been able to be rotated because of Gorsens' injury, but now he's fit. So I expect DiMarco to come on in the second half, but Gorsens to start. The front two, yeah, this is expected. We know if Correa is back fit, you know, he had that quick little injury <laughs> last time around in the league. So he should be back fit now. So I see that. And then hopefully Nohan Dana, which we need on 100% for this game. Um I think, yeah, if with Brozovic coming in, maybe Dumfries with Armian coming in here, I, then I would be more convinced about getting a win. Um, but we have to rotate. That's the thing. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, if, if this is actually the lineup, I wouldn't be mad at all with Inzaghi. Our focus, as I said, is elsewhere. We've got the cup final, Coppa Italia final coming up as well in a week or so. So it's, um, uh, no, no, no arguments with me for for Inzaghi to, if he does rotate heavily because we need to keep the team fresh, get these boys going, and yeah, it has worked recently. The the rotation, the only two guys injured at the moment are Mkhitaryan and Skriniar, uh, both of them. Um, probably we won't see them until the final. Maybe Mkhitaryan a little bit before, um, but yeah, I think this could be a game for Lukaku to continue his form. Hopefully. Um, and yeah, Gagliardini. Oh God, this guy, man! I cannot wait till the thirtieth uh, of June when this guy's contract expires. But no, as I said, to me, like we still got something to fight for. We need to secure that top four spot. It's 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 so important. So I do see us um, getting a result at least in this game. It wouldn't be the end of the world even if we don't win. To be honest, uh, I'll take a draw. I'll take a draw in this uh, in this game, um, and then we still have you know. Otaro, Jekyll, you know, strong bench to come off potentially Di Marco. Um, yeah, that's far. That's as much as it goes on uh, on that game. Um, there was one thing I wanted to cover as well before we um, talk about the game tomorrow or finish up. So Inter's schedule has been announced today in terms of the last few last few fixtures, and Marotta was not happy today, quite rightly. Um, so speaking to Gazzetta in an interview published today, uh, the CEO says the scary schedule is putting players' safety at risk um, with the official uh, change to next weekend. Serie schedule has been made. Um, the league has spread the matches out in more out more in order to have fewer concurrent fixtures. So they want to have, you know, fixtures at different time slots so they can have more viewers for the TV. But this meant that Inter's Instead of facing Atalanta on Sunday, now, like as in next weekend, now they will face him on Saturday, um, which is just, you know, three days after Inter's Coppa Italia final against Fiorentina. So, you know, it's, it, that, is, that is awful, awful planning. And that, Marotta said, is unacceptable, quite rightly. Um, it's incomprehensible to bring a match forward to Saturday that could have well been played on Monday. In doing so, it's putting player safety at risk. With the Coppa Italia final also on the way, which could go beyond normal time. Exactly. Imagine if we go to extra time against Fiorentina and you only have three days. That's crazy. That is crazy. Um, given that the Nerazzurri are having their first free week in over a month, Zhang's club expected more understanding. Obviously, we're looking ahead to the, the Champions League final as well. You know, Serie A should be trying to help Inter. Even choosing Sunday wouldn't have caused too much uh, discontent. But instead, they've put the needs of television first. The risk to safety of players should be considered above all in light of the Champions League final. It would be a huge regret if we lost players to the match against City. 
due to the physical toll of this compressed period. And then our opponents in the Coppa Italia on the 24th are dealing with the same, yeah, Fiorentina have the same issue because they have, they're in the, congrats to Fiorentina, by the way, they're in the uh, Conference League final against West Ham. So I doubt this statement, or I don't know if Inter have actually officially taken some sort of steps to try to get this changed, but yeah, not good. Not good at all, to be honest. Not helping us, not helping Fiorentina, not helping Italian football, not helping the players. And, you know, at the moment, as I said, we only have Skriniar and Mkhitaryan. But yeah, we still have a few weeks to go to that Champions League final. Imagine, you know, this build-up. that someone and someone else gets injured. You don't know what, what shape the other team's going to come in. Um, Man City, on the other hand, they also have an FA Cup final. So they they also have that. But now they've secured, today they secured their... Premier League, once again, Premier League becoming Farmers League, thanks to Man City, they're winning it over and over and over again. So that means now they probably can start to rotate players. They can go into holiday mode in the league now, which is unfortunate for us, uh, and start resting players a bit more towards that final. But they have a FA Cup final, at least in between, like us, with the Coppa Italia. But yeah, to finish up for tomorrow's game, um, I'm <laughs> <laughs> is there even a point of you guys watching my my predictions now because you guys know what I'm gonna say uno uno one one it's the it's the 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 thing now on this channel isn't it the everyone asked me to do it and it has been working the last few weeks so why change uh, I'm gonna predict the one one I actually think it's actually quite um, realistic in this case because I think both teams um I think inter they'll, they'll be feeling the after effects of the the this last period and uh, this heavy rotation will obviously not make things very smooth for us um if it is this heavy and then napoli i think they'll dominate possession and stuff like that but i don't think it'll be the usual napoli so yeah i expect a a one one but yeah a win would cherry on the cake and uh, would bring us into that coppa italian like fantastic mood imagine that securing top four Knowing you're a Champions League final, you can play that Coppa Italia final like with a clear head. It doesn't matter what happens against Atalanta and Torino afterwards. Yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you make of the fixture um, change from Sunday to Saturday? What do you make of the lineups? Who would you start? Yeah, I'm interested. Like, would you go heavy rotation or would you try to secure a win away in Napoli just to secure that top four spot? Or would you do what uh, Sky Sport are saying? predicting that Inzaghi will do let me know down in the comments below leave a thumbs up ciao ragazzi always always forza inter